our second lesson of online learning. Last week, Mr. Z was with you, and this week it's my turn. I know he did a cup lesson with you, so I'm going to continue with that. I'm really excited to have our fourth graders over at Summer Street joining us. I got to meet some of you when we did our Music in Our Schools Month concert. That was such a fun night. Um, but this is a great way for us to make music together. So this is my playroom in my house. I've sort of turned it into a music classroom. I have some of my instruments here. I don't have a piano down here, but I do have an electric keyboard, and I'll play that for you today. All right, so here's the plan. We are going to review the rhythm cups from last week. Um, Mr. Z told you that that third one was going to be the challenge to practice. So let's go over that third one today. And then I have a new song to share with you. We're going to listen to it, and we're going to sing it, and we're going to add those cups to it. Let's get started. Great. All right, before we do anything, I always like to start our music class with a little mindful moment. So this music that you hear is uh, called Andante for Flute and Orchestra, K315, written by a famous composer named Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Can you hear it okay? You can hear the high sound of the solo flute kind of over the whole orchestra. Let's just take a deep breath in. Breathe in slowly, breathe out slowly. Let's do a big stretch, bring those arms up and down. Hopefully you're listening to this and your body is feeling calm and relaxed. Another big stretch. Okay, fourth grade, I hope you are feeling calm and relaxed. I'm so excited that I get to do this rhythm cup lesson with you. I have a rhythm cup right here. Um, just grab any kind of plastic or paper cup and join me. Uh, will you go grab a cup? All right, I'll see you right back here. Use your cup, tap it on the table, and repeat after me. Ready? Listen first. My turn. Okay, so last week, Mr. Z told you that there was a challenge on that rhythm cup activity. And he challenged you to do that third line. So I have the third line right here. Let's practice it. So it's a whole bunch of quarter notes. Playing quarter notes probably is pretty easy for you fourth graders, but moving the cups around and making sure we do it the way the directions tell us, I think that's the challenge. All right, so the first thing we have is taking the cup and tapping it against the table. Do you see how it says the word table with a little round circle? That's table. Then we tap it. Then we put it on our forehead. Three quarter notes, three different things to do with our cup. So it's table, tap, forehead. And what's after those three quarter notes? Do you notice? It's a quarter rest. Let me just see if I can show you. Here's your quarter note colored in circle with a line going up and here's your quarter rest all right can you see that all right quarter note and quarter rest table tap forehead let's do that and we do it twice look at the music we do it twice those first two measures are exactly the same table tap forehead rest table tap forehead rest are you with me all right let's keep going look at that next measure the pattern is different it doesn't have three quarter notes followed by a quarter rest we have to just keep playing for four beats four quarter notes table tap forehead tap that's 
That's pretty good. It wasn't too hard. Table, tap, forehead, tap. All right, and then that last measure, do you see it? It ends with a half note. A half note looks like a quarter note, but it is not colored in. It is a long note. It gets two beats each. That last measure is forehead, tap, and then end on the table for the half note for two beats. So forehead, tap, table. Let's try it from the beginning and see how we do. Ready? Right from the beginning, the first thing you do is hit that table, follow the music, follow Mrs. Frazier, focus. Ready? We can do this. One, two, ready, go. Table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead, tap, forehead, tap, table. How'd you do? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Ready? Here we go. Watch that music. Follow me. We got this. Start with the table. One, two, ready, go. Table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead, tap, forehead, tap, table. All right, now notice what's at the end of the uh, piece of music. Do you see the double bar line and repeat dots? Look, they're right here. It looks like this, double bar line, and repeat dots. Can you see that okay? That tells us to go back to the beginning and do it again. So let's try that. Let's try the whole thing through twice. As soon as you get to the end, you gotta go back to the beginning and start again. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead, tap, forehead, tap, Table, table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead. Table, tap, forehead, tap, forehead, tap, table. It takes a lot of concentration. I have to really be thinking of each word and each thing that I'm doing with the cup. I hope you're really concentrating. Um, and we don't have to go too fast. We can kind of take that slow speed and, and try to do it without any mistakes. You can go back on this video and rewind it and watch it and practice it as many times as you would like. And I would love to see a video of you trying it out. Do you think you could send me a video of you doing this? I know Mr. Z would love that too. We hope to hear from you. For the next part of our lesson, I have a new song I want to teach you to sing. You may have heard it before. It's kind of a famous song. It was written in 1972 by a composer named Bill Withers. He wrote the song and he sang it. The song is called Lean On Me. I'm going to sing it for you now. Sometimes in our lives we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise we know that there's always tomorrow lean on me when you're not strong and i'll be your friend i'll help you carry on for it won't be long till i'm gonna need somebody to lean on does that sound familiar it's kind of a famous song, like I said. It's called Lean On Me. Now, when you think of the word lean, you may think of like leaning on a table or leaning on somebody. And, you know, if you are having trouble walking and you need a friend to help you, you will lean on that person and you would be able to walk. But what this song is about, this song is about friendship. And it's about leaning on people, not in a physical way, but more of in an emotional way. And I'm sure you have friends and family in your life that you can lean on when things are going a little rough. Leaning on them just means that you can count on them. You can rely on them and they will help you. So the song says we might have pain and we might have sorrow, but we will always have people that we can lean on. Um, and then sometimes it can be reversed. So your friend needs some help 
and they can lean on you. I'm going to sing the song for you again with a little help from a friend. Times in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me when you're not strong, and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. Boy, it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean. Right. How fun is that? You get to hear both me and Mr. Z in the same lesson. All right. Mr. Z and I sang that song a cappella. Do you remember what a cappella means? A cappella, very simply, is voices only. So we were just using our voices. We didn't have a piano or a recorder or a xylophone. Voices only is a cappella. A cappella music music that is made without any instruments. So I have a video I'd like to share with you. This is a group of men singing Lean On Me a cappella. Now these guys might sound familiar to my students over at Huckleberry. We listened to this group sing Old Lang Syne and they're back with a special version of Lean On Me. They recorded it during quarantine. So they were all in their own houses and through technology, singing together. Listen. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow.
Okay, I hope you are singing with your best fourth grade voices. I love that song, and I especially think it's a cool song for right now, because even though we can't all be together, we can still lean on each other. We can rely on each other and count on each other, and if you need anything, you can always shoot me an email. The fourth graders at Summer Street, Huckleberry, wherever, um, we're all in this together, so you can lean on me. I hope that you're singing those words loud and proud. Let's try to put that cup pattern with the song. All right, table tap, forehead, do you remember? All right, we're going to listen to that a cappella performance. I love when these guys sing, they're so good. Let's try to put it with them. Repeat, focus, concentrate, we got this. Ready, listen. One, two. Ready, go. Table, tap, forehead. We all have pain. We all have sorrow. Repeat. Table, tap, forehead. We are wise. We know that there's always tomorrow. How'd you do? All right, let's take a little break. Let's try it again, though. Ready? Table, tap, forehead. Ready? One, two, three, go. Repeat. up. <laughs> did you mess up? I messed up. I forget what I did. Let's try again. Ready, go. Hey. Table. Again. Table. Tap. Forward. Table. Tap. Forehead. Table. Tap. Forehead. Tap. Forehead. Tap. Table. I, you can sing along too. Can you sing? and do the cups at the same time all right keep practicing boys and girls shoot me a video i want to see how you're doing with this all right i hope you are singing along and playing with your cup and remember you can always go back on the video and try it again practice it a few times and i told you before and i'll tell you again i want to see a video of you playing so send it along all right before we end our lesson today i thought i would just show you Lean On Me on the recorder. Um, the music is actually in the document that we sent out on Sunday night. So if you're curious at all about what the music looks like, um, check it out. The refrain of the song is mostly B, A, and G. So those are kind of the easiest notes to play. And I thought Lean On Me might be a great recorder song. Um, if you have your recorder at home and you wanna try it, go for it. If you don't have your recorder, that's fine. Just listen and enjoy the music. Kind of cool on the recorder. I do miss like those drum sounds. All right, if you are interested in doing more work on the recorder, you can check out the document that came home on Sunday night that was sent out. Um, and I have some information there. And the rest of the week, I hope you're just making music in any way you can. Um, please sing, play your cup, play your recorder if you have it. Have fun, stay safe, and we'll all be together soon. I miss you guys. Bye. Hey everyone, the fun can continue. Look up Mozart, look up Bill Withers, and sing Lean On Me.
are the words to lean on me. See if you can get everyone in your house to sing along. It's a great song. And if you have your recorder and you want to try to play it, here's the recorder music. Just follow along. Good luck and have fun.